Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a CV axle swap on a 2005 Silverado. I have the Z71 four wheel drive. Uh, what I'll be using, I have a breaker bar with a 36 millimeter axle nut socket on the end of it. I have a small socket with a 15 millimeter socket on the end of it and that will be to take off the inside bolts. And I have my breaker bar with my adapter to take my tire off. Uh, let me quickly show you what it looks like. As you can see, the boot is ripped right on the side of it there. And I had this happen before and I didn't switch it and it ended up coming apart while I was driving. So if you see a leak in your boot, make sure you switch it before it turns into a bigger issue. But there's the inside bolts. We're just gonna be removing these bolts. And then there is an axle nut on the inside and that's it. So it's a super easy swap. But the first thing I'm gonna do is loosen up all these bolts on my tire so that once it's in the air I can take them off so let's get right to it all right now that all those are loose we should be ready to go ahead and jack it up so let's jack it up if you're not sure of where to jack it up from, I would just go ahead and jack it up on that piece of frame right there and that should give you a solid, a solid point to jack it up from. Let's see, right there. And then make sure your e-brake is pushed in so that your truck doesn't try and roll on you. Let's go ahead and jack it up. So now we can go ahead and finish taking off those uh, lug nuts so that we can get the tire off. All right, so now that we got our tire off, um, you will most likely have a dust cap that is covering this nut right here, and you'll just have to pop that off with like a screwdriver. It's just a little metal cap that covers this. Mine's already off, so I'm going to go ahead and get to work on removing this axle nut. So if, there, if you have someone who can hold down on the brakes while you take this off, it'll make it a lot easier. Uh, I don't have anyone here, so I'm just gonna try and do it by myself, but I might use another bar or something to try and get me some leverage and maybe I'll put it between these so that it doesn't spin on me. So we'll see how it goes. Be careful not to strip this because if you strip it, it'll make it a lot more difficult to take off. There we go. So we can go ahead and loosen this. There's that. And there's also a washer. So next thing, we will just move on um, to these bolts right in here. And these will be the same thing. You'll have to hold it from back here if you're by yourself, but if you have someone with you, uh, they can just push on the brakes and then it won't move anywhere and then you can remove those. All right, so we got that one loose. 
and we got all the ones in the back loose. So now we just gotta wiggle it out of here. Let's see. Let's just wiggle it to the side. And then it should just pull straight out of here, just like that. All right, I might try tap on it from the outside with just one of my sockets and see if it will pop out. There it goes. Let me see. There we go. So it will slide out just like that. As you can see, this one is pretty messed up. So it is just not not good to be driving with that. So, all right, and then we grab our new one and we will just try and do exactly what we did taking that one off, but we just do it opposite. So we'll bring this end in first and it's got, let me show you real quick. This one has grooves on it and the inside of the hole also has grooves on it like that. So you just gotta, you just gotta line them up and it'll slide right in there. And there we go. Yeah, you'll, you'll know when it, when it lines up because it just it just slid right in there without any without any problem so now we got to get this side lined up again so we're gonna have to twist it a little bit so that we can get it to line up with this side so we we'll just wiggle it a little bit just like that and then we can go I'll go ahead and just finger thread a few of the bolts in to keep it in place All right, so I got them all finger, finger tight. Now I'm gonna go through and just tighten them using the same strategy I used before, just using the breaker bar to keep it from spinning so then I can get them good and tight. And I'll probably go around the whole thing twice and double check just so that after the first time, in case any of them move a little bit, um, I'll do a second spin just to make sure that they're all good and tight. So now that I went around once, I'm just gonna go around one more time just to make sure that they're all good and tight. And I would still recommend, if you could have someone hold the brake cause it will make sure that you can get them good and tight, but you can still do it with the breaker bar. You just gotta be more careful to make sure that you're getting them tight so that nothing comes loose on you. So we'll go around and do that. those should all be good and tight and then the next thing that we are gonna have to do is just put this put the axle nut back on so we got a washer washer goes on first and then we got the axle nut we'll just put that on mine came with a new one but if yours didn't come with the new one you can just use your old one So I'll get that finger tight and then I'll go ahead and use my uh, breaker bar to tighten it the rest of the way. 
and I found someone to hold the brake down so I can just go ahead and tighten mine. And once again, when you're putting this one back on, you want to make sure to, to do your best not to, to strip it. There we go. And if you have your dust cover, you'll put that on next. And then we can go ahead and we can put our rim back on. Before I put the tire on, let me just go ahead and show you the new one. All nice and fresh, and I got grease everywhere from where the last one ripped. So, those can make a good mess for you, but. All right, let's go ahead and get this tire put back on. I'm just gonna get them all as tight as I can with my fingers and then I'm just gonna let the jack down and then I can tighten them all the way. All right, and then we can go ahead, go ahead and let the jack down. We can pull that out and then we can go through and give a final tighten on our lug bolts and we should be good to go. All right, there we go. We are all done. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or comments about it. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, good luck, and thank you so much for watching.